welcome back to the Crafty Maven. I'm Evie, and this is my first layout for um, free, no, Art Party Friday. And I am starting out with this weaving stencil by Prima and some gold Heidi Shine. And the craft paper with the doodles on it is from the Rise and Shine collection by Amy Tangerine, and it's called Monroe. And now I'm going in with Tattered Angels as well, and it is a gold color named, let me see, Sunlight. And so I'm going with some of the weaving colors you can see from that side glare um, that was featured in that inspiration board where the kind of bread was being held. It was sitting like a, on a almost like a burlap bag. So that's that kind of pulling in that one. And I wanted to incorporate these gorgeous blues and navies that were in that inspiration board. So I am simply going to be doing these large paint strokes with easy craft paint. These are like the dollar ones you get at the craft stores. I'm using um, English Navy, Real Navy, Admiral Blue, Admiral Blue, Carolina Blue, Baby Blue, and then Mediterranean Blue. And you can see that I am just randomly picking up paint. I'm using a one inch flat brush. Um, this is from Dina Wakely, in fact. And I'm just randomly putting on these large paint strokes. Now, originally, don't get me wrong, like right about here, I should have stopped. And I think I could have used it as my background paper but I literally cover the entire page. I went like a little brush stroke happy. <laughs> and so you'll see it. it. It just becomes, I think, probably a little bit too much. But, you know, a little bit looking back, what's that saying go like hindsight looking back? I probably could have made it work by doing the same layers that you will see shortly on my layout. Um, but at first it was intimidating. So that's what it looks like. And like, I, I have, you know, I put it down there and I was just kind of like, ah, it's too busy, busy. So I take this page. This is from my stash. It's from Kaiser Crafts. I do believe it's from Sand in My Toes collection. And I just wanted to get a nice layered um, look. I liked this one because of the beiges that were also in the mood board, as well as the polka dots that were kind of seen in those coffee cups. So I'm going to be taking a big chunk, but I'm going to be using the side, I think this corner, yeah, right here, that has all of the brush strokes so that way you still get the sense of my you know mixed media on the layout without it being like an overpowering factor um, if you are familiar with my channel you know that I love my mixed media and <laughs> sometimes for me I, I, I do a little too much when sometimes less is more so this is one of the times where I don't want to make it too much and I do less is more so that we still have a nice white border as base and then um, all of my beautiful paintbrushes can still be seen and showcased. And I'm just taking my T-square, making sure that it's nice and straight on this layout. And then this page is, again, picking up the pages, but it has, like, this gold foil, like, little, like, hash marks on it. And I just want it to be small, like a, a two inches I may have taken it to, maybe three um, just a little bit of a feature, just pulling in some of that gold um, element from the inspiration. Um, and that's it. So I am scrapping this picture that I simply took really like the other day of my oldest dachshund named Zoe. She was napping and when she sat up for a moment, the light from the window was hitting her in such a perfect little position. It was just a perfect picture at the perfect time. I happened to have my phone and I was like, Ooh, don't move. You know, <laughs> she looked too precious and she's just aging gracefully. She will be 10 next month. So um, my little girl's getting old. So I'm just mounting it on some tracing paper, which I kind of just treat as vellum. And when I was at this point, I was just like, man, all that, you know, those beautiful um, brush strokes, I still don't have enough blue. So this is me just still adding pops of blue. Um, around the edge so that I don't lose that kind of nice blue element that the mood board had. So I'm just using more and more of um, that background I started with. Then this kind of burlap ribbon I cut in half and it has gold um, glitter on it too. So I thought it was a nice sort of element to add um, as well. Now these few pieces that you see above my layout and this nice infinity sign with the paw print, I did cut out from my Silhouette um, Cameo. It was at the design store and I did um, spray them off camera with Heidi Shine in gold. So they were on white cardstock, I spray painted them, spray painted, <laughs> spritzed them with gold 
And then the adorable word is gold foil and vellum, and that is still hanging around on my desk from the Confetti Collection by Maggie Holmes. So I thought these gold and beiges um, would work well. And don't get me wrong, I thought this was a challenge for me regardless because um, really beige and browns are not colors I work a lot with. So I did want to challenge myself with the mood board, even though when I saw it, I was like, oh, I love it. But I'm like, ooh, I don't work with brown. Like, I rarely work with brown. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, like I said, I managed to find a few things in my collection that would work just quite well and, um, and it worked out great. So, so this little paw print and then that little word that you see rough is also cut from my silhouette store. They're just icons from the store itself. And so here I am just committing to a lot of little tags and ephemera. Um, most of it I want to say is from confetti still, cause I honestly, I hoarded like two maybe three boxes of that stuff <laughs> um don't tell anybody <laughs> but some of those like bunting banners and stuff are also i have a few pieces left from open book so we are using um a lot of maggie homes here um and then committing to that i do like um the tangle thread look around a, a piece of flare and my flare is is um pr recently purchased from um feed your craft um, it's a nice little Etsy store, and she has, like, not the quarter size flare, but, like, the smaller ones, I guess, that are going around, and it had a paw print, so, I mean, it worked out perfectly, and it was blue, so how much more perfect could you get? So, I'm adding some gold tangle thread around around um, my flare, which will be a nice little detail on that side um, as well. And then, let's see, for my final things too, these little wood veneer elements are from Craft Market um, Crate Paper. Been sitting around in my stash too. But again, like I said, sometimes it's hard for me to work with um, wood. I, if you watch me, um, I usually always um, color or heat emboss my wood veneer. So when I have some sitting, or sitting around, I definitely thought this was the perfect time to use them. Um... So yes, I do finish off my layout with some um, embellishments that are just like these puffy stickers are from Craft Market. I do add in some navy Heidi Shine as splatters. And then along the edges, if you take a look um, when it, the, the details come up, I did like do little hash marks around the edges because in those teacups that were on the mood board, they had one with like little hash marks in black. They had one that had polka dot and one that had like gold strokes. And so I wanted to incorporate that too. So I did try to use the mood board as much as possible on this layout. This is also some uh, like a beige and gold sequences that I do add in three um, clusters around the layout as well. These are just like the final little t uh, details that I like adding. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this video uh, for the Crafty Maven. I'm excited for um, the next weeks and projects to come. If you do not follow me, I am at Life with Evie. That's my YouTube channel. I will leave my information in the description box, so please come over and take a look as well if you like what you've seen. Um, until next video, um, I believe I will be up on... Um, Mix It Up Monday is my next project, so you'll be seeing me thinking outside the box with some paper craft goodies. So it's super excited. Thank you so much for having me. I think I already said that, but I'm really just that excited. <laughs> the detail pictures are coming up. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.